Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. New vlog, I should say. I'm just heading out. I'm going to a meeting. Let's hope no one's in the lift. No one is in the lift. I'm just heading out to a meeting um, with La Mer, which will be really nice. We've met the girl before once we had lunch with her, so we're gonna go to the La Mer counter and then go for coffee and have a little chat. <laughs> I got cut off because someone was in the lift, but yeah, I'm actually meeting Freya as well, is what I was going to say. I've not seen her for so long because she's been on holiday and it was Christmas, so I'm really looking forward to a little catch up with her. We're going to shoot our outfits and then head to the meeting together. Here she is. Hi. The Wanderer returns. five now I think but really nice meeting with La Mer. We're gonna get some products sent out to try them because I've tried quite a lot of La Mer products and I really like them and I tried one of their cushion foundations and I think I needed one shade darker so I've been matched for that. I'm gonna try that one out because I really liked the original one that I had and also they're sending me a few different products because I always think it's nice like if you like a brand to try different ranges of their product and they're bringing out a new serum as well, um, which is exciting. Um, so yeah, it was just a nice little catch up and meeting. I also popped to uh, Thamine and picked up their new fragrance. Basically, they've launched a new fragrance. This was, um, this is a PR product. Um, so it's called Peregrina. Oh, I thought Tim was walking in the room, but it was actually just a bag about to fall over. Oh, oh, something. It's like it's alive. Um, yeah, it's called Peregrina, and actually, this is my favourite Thamine scent that I've smelt, and I've got a couple of them now. I've got about three, and this is my absolute favourite that I've smelt, and it's a new release, and it's very vanilla. Vanilla-y, it's got caramel, ylang ylang, amber, and it is really, really nice. So what does it say on the back? I don't know whether it says the actual explanation of it. Definitely go and give this a smell if you are in Selfridges, because it's so nice. Um, so yeah, that was my little trip. It was so nice to see Freya as well, but we didn't, well, we did have a little bit of a catch up, but not obviously as much as we would have wanted because we can just talk forever if we're left to our own devices but we didn't have that long because Freya needed to get off for traffic um because it's like half four so she'd be she'd kind of be hitting rush hour a bit but hopefully she'll be all right but um hopefully we'll have a catch up soon I think we're gonna make something to eat we're gonna have some salad and some salmon I think and yeah that's that's the day I'm quite tired actually we had Tim's one of Tim's good friends round this morning because he does freelance work as well and he's like kind of in a similar type of industry so he was around this morning helping us with a few different bits and bobs and yeah it feels like we've had quite a busy full day actually I've edited a IGTV video and filmed one feeling on top of things so this is how I'm gonna cook my salmon so I've put some fresh chives on it chopped up some garlic and then grated some dried ginger, over, not dried ginger, fresh ginger over the top. Put a bit of parmesan on and some soy sauce and a tiny bit of sweet chilli as well. So I'm just gonna wrap that up and pop it in the oven. So I made a bit of a mess of mine. mine. That's and this is what it looks like, Piesta Resistance. Very colorful, isn't it? Wow, very colorful. Health all over that. That is what you call eating a rainbow. It is called eating a rainbow. Morning, everyone. Woo. Let's rearrange this curtain. <laughs> it's about half ten on Tuesday morning. We've just shot an outfit and now we're on to the second and we are off to Grindsmith, I think, which is um, like a little cafe just off Deansgate on Bridge Street, if you don't know it, which is really cute, kind of quirky looking. Not quirky, like um, kind of scandy looking. So we're gonna go there 
and maybe try and take some shots inside. We're gonna grab some breakfast as well because we kind of fancied getting out for a bit of brunch um, because we've not done that for ages. So we've decided to do it today. I think they're offering 50% off through January as well for brunch, which is good. This is what I'm wearing. So I've got my um, kind of, not baggy, wide leg-ish jeans on from Zara, Topshop boots, um, Zara belt, my H&M roll neck, which I bought the other day, and my Zara cropped blazer. And I've got my little scrunchie in my hair, and PD palette earrings. So I changed and went for this blazer instead because I think it's a little bit more casual and daytime. Maybe the other one was a little bit more evening. Uh, so yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Washing machine in the background. I feel like this is a constant in my vlogs. Um, but it's Wednesday now, it's Wednesday afternoon, about 12, just gone 12, and I've decided to do a little come shopping with me because I wanted to share not necessarily all the things that I'm gonna buy. I'm, I'm not saying I'm gonna go out and buy loads whilst oh, that is so loud. Every other room's a mess so I can't actually go in there. I'm gonna have to speak really closely to the camera. Anyway, the sooner I get out, the better. But basically, I'm gonna do a come shopping with me. I asked on Instagram what kind of pieces you want to see and what you're buying at this time of year. And a lot of people said like transitional pieces and like good basics, things like that. So I'm gonna, I think, go to H&M, Stories and Zara. I think those are gonna be the three I tackle today um, for those really good pieces. Um, and just kind of show you what's in the shops basically. I wanted to do this for a while and I've not really got around to it. So that is gonna be, I think, probably the rest of the vlog that'll take us. Oh, that washing machine, shut up. Right, let's go. So I've got to the H&M changing room and this is what I've got on. So I've got these Louis trousers on, um, Zara boots, H&M uh, coat and ASOS knit. And I'm just gonna try some stuff on. I've got two more things waiting outside for me and um, I've got my Louis bag as well but yeah instead of just like showing you around the shop I thought it was better to just grab everything and then come and try it on so you can see what everything is like so first up I've got this H&M conscious knit on $17.99 which is such a good price um it's really comfy and I just feel like it kind of jazzes up basic like leather trousers or basic trousers or anything like that I think it's very office appropriate as well and you could probably actually wear quite a lot with it because it's just a plain black and also this print is very in at the moment. So next are these jeans, so so comfortable. I think they're 34.99. We've got these in a size 10 but I think they're a little bit a little bit big so I'd maybe go for an 8. They're really comfortable casual fit and yeah probably just go with everything really nice shade of denim too next is this really cozy sweater which is i think 49.99 so quite expensive but it is just feels really luxurious very kind of i don't know it reminds me of some of the pixie market stuff i've got super comfy it kind of goes with everything and it's quite long as well so that's what it looks like loose so great with um, skinny leggings, black leather leggings. 
so I've got this shirt on now which is so cool it's got these huge chunky sleeves and like a pale blue shade this is a size small and it's still really oversized but yeah I think this would really look nice with like a round neck jumper over the top maybe just some skinny jeans or tucked in great for spring and also great as a layering piece so next I've got this combo so this is like a puff sleeve jumper it's kind of similar to one I already have but um I know a lot of people mentioned it last time I wore it so this is a really good alternative um my other one's Lovies this one is $17.99 and I think this is a medium so this is a size medium but they also do it in a grey and a beige um but I think these jumpers are so useful they look really nice for work as well you can layer a shirt with it or just wear it by itself with a nice necklace or big earrings and then I've paired it with this skirt so this is a size small and let's see how much it was and it is $24.99 it's actually so comfy as well um but yeah great with little boots or longer boots or ankle like heeled ankle boots for an evening and again really nice transitional piece into spring because it's got the like beigey camely things with it and it just feels really expensive actually like the cut of it and the um material and i love it with this little puff sleeve jumper as well i'm very tempted to get this skirt I feel like you could get a lot of wear out of it and then just put like a big chunky cropped um, coat over it at the moment. But you could wear this in the middle of summer um, with some nice sandals and you can wear this like now with boots. Very, very versatile and a really nice length too. So then I've got these checked trousers on. These were only 19 99 which I think is such a good price. They need a bit of an iron. I got these in a size 10. Um, but they're so comfy actually and again great for workwear but also like weekend attire just like this with some trainers um, with a black puffer coat would work um, yeah really versatile and again that check print which is like the checked print of the season then I've got this coat which is 34 34 no 39.99 which is such a good price this kind of like tobacco -y shade I don't know if it's the best colour on me but I think it's such a good buy um it's like nice and lightweight it's not lined or anything but it just is for the price so good and also great going into spring because it's not too much of a heavy coat so it's not like you're investing in a big winter coat but yes I just think it's so nice it's not quite showing the colour on camera I'd say it's a bit more greeny beigey shade on camera it's a bit, it looks a bit browny but um yeah I, I think it's such a good buy so lastly I've got this grey jacket this is a bit more expensive it's $17,999 this again needs a bit of an iron but it's a really cool shape and I think if you work in an office that's quite casual um, this is a really good piece to have to keep warm in the winter it's not like a blazer either it's just like a smart jacket pop it on with some smart trousers maybe a shirt or a jumper and it's like a kind of nice smart casual outfit and then it'll look really good at the weekend just kind of dressed down with trainers so that is my last look in h &M. so the music was a little bit loud in stories to be able to talk so i thought i'd just do a little voice over to it and this first piece is kind of a jumper kind of isabel morant vibes with those shoulders like that so i thought it'd be really nice to tuck into like some high-waisted trousers kind of a bit like the ones i'm wearing maybe some leather ones would be nice this one i tried on was in a size small because i wanted that more fitted look and it was 65 pounds i didn't end up going for this but i still think it's quite cute and would go with a lot I am absolutely loving these collared sweaters at the moment. I love this grey one. It's £75 and it's actually wool, I think, too. I think these jumpers are a nice way to kind of wear jeans in a jumper, but a little bit differently. Just style it up a little bit, but still be a nice classic item that you can wear with everything. I tried on these trousers, which I'm not 100% sure on because I've got slouchy jeans already in black, which kind of do the same job as these. And I wasn't 100% sure on the fit either. They were slightly too short to wear with boots like these. And I'm not completely sure how flattering they were on me. But I did quite like that kind of 
style and shape and these were 75 pounds and I tried these on in a size 38. I think they would be useful and probably would go with quite a lot as well. This next piece I absolutely adore. They only had an extra large or a medium in stock so I decided to try on the medium because normally I would go for a small but I actually think the medium fits perfectly. This was £65 and again it's got that gorgeous kind of collared look to it and a bit like a cardigan. I absolutely adored this and lilac is going to be a huge trend for kind of upcoming season so definitely one to get on board with now and I think with it being quite unusual and statement I think it's worth the extra money that stories is as, as opposed to H&M prices. So if you want a slightly more affordable version of the lilac this is the sweatshirt and it was £35 just really comfortable I love the kind of puff sleeve detail it just gives it something a little bit extra as opposed to like a plain sweatshirt it looks, looks a bit more dressy and yet again a nod to that lilac trend there's quite a lot of things in lilac around in under the stories and I noticed in Zara as well so definitely one to get your hands on. This dress I actually preferred on the rack because I don't think I really picked up the right size. I picked up a size 38 but I think this is way too big for me. It's £95 so you know quite a hefty price and um, for that I didn't really think it was worth it just because I didn't think it was overly flattering on me. I actually love the print though. I love the puff sleeves and I love the entire concept of it. I think maybe had I tried a different size in it um, I maybe think otherwise but not really sure it's worth the £95 but a very pretty dress. So I'm in Zara now. There's quite a mix of things on. Let's just take them separately. So first thing is this kind of cable knit jumper. Let's see how much this is. I think this is £25.99 yep. and I got a size small in this because I thought it was a nice layering piece to like tuck into things and I didn't want it too oversized so I got this and it's got a cute little cap sleeve kind of Isabel Morant style um, and I just picked up a little shirt to try on under it because this is how I'd wear it. I'd wear it with a shirt and like this. And then I got these kind of what would you call them? Beige um, leather leatherette joggers which again I think were probably where is the label these were 25 99 again in a size small but I thought they were quite cool I feel like I need to try them on with something else other than although I guess it kind of goes I don't know whether they're not the most flattering I don't know and then these chunky sole boots which are so much chunkier than my others but they're mine and these are the new ones but I, I like the side bit and this bit here and these were £99 I do really like them but I'm not 100% sure but yeah I do like the whole cream look actually with my boots I also got this blazer which is £59.99 um, and it's got like a ruched sleeve pale and it's like a pale kind of camel but I like the neutral tones together this definitely doesn't show up properly on camera but it's more warm tones both of them are more warm tones and this would be a great piece for workwear as well a great blazer to go straight into spring with so I am back from shopping I'm actually worn out I feel so tired after trying because normally I if I buy something I usually buy it online and I don't really do that much trying on in shops I'll just go more for a browse so I feel like I've done a marathon shop back now and I just thought I'd show you quickly before I ended this video here and um, what I actually ended up buying so I went for the Ooh, let's get the camera in the right place. Oh, I've ordered a mirror, by the way, from the White Company, and it is a big, wide mirror that will go in the corridor. So hopefully, all being well, I mean, really, it's not got any natural light down there, so not quite as good as somewhere with natural light, but hopefully show off like clothes better in the mirror so i got the under the stories like lilac chunky cardigan knit thing 
Um, I just thought that was like a little bit different and worth the more expensive price point. I love the grey one but I thought, you know, I've got quite a few grey jumpers, as lovely as it was. I think it was £10 more expensive as well but I thought the lilac was worth the money, looked a bit different. I think lilac's a colour that suits me as well so I thought I'd go for that and definitely a really good piece to transition into spring because that's what a lot of people said they were looking for on Insta. And then I got the Zara leather joggers because I thought that would actually look really chic with a black blazer or my black coat and I got the boots. I got big chunky boots so I'm going to wear them around the house a little bit, try them on with a few different things and see how I feel about them with all my outfits but I do feel like they make every outfit look that little bit cooler like especially just something really boring like jeans and a jumper you pop those on and it instantly looks really cool and then I feel like such a scruff today you know when you're just not feeling it I got the check trousers 19.99 I just thought these were really nice pop on with a jumper or transition to like a t-shirt and um, like a lightweight jacket and maybe like a lightweight camel jacket t-shirt and trainers when it comes spring and then at the moment a jumper, big coat, it'll look good with the boots um, and I think you know there are loads of ways you can wear this and again great for work wear if that's something you're looking for. The boots and the joggers I don't think are really work where appropriate but the other two I think you could probably get away with for work. I actually might wear this on this lilac thing on Saturday night. I'm gonna go and see Actually, it'll be Sunday when you see this, so I might have worn it. it. Might be on my Instagram. I'm seeing some of my friends, so I thought maybe dress this up with like some leather joggers and like a heel boot or something, so it's like smart casual. Anyway, rant over. Go and have a look at my Instagram in the next, I don't know, couple of weeks, and those pieces probably will all be on. <laughs> right now, I'm gonna recover. This is, I'm gonna end the weekly vlog here. I know it kind of started off as a vlog, ended with a come shopping with me, um, but I'm gonna end it here because I'm not up to too much the rest of the week so there's no point in showing you that I've done quite a few kind of more at homey vlogs the past couple of weeks and I might do one next week but I thought for a change we'll mix it up and throw a come shopping with me in there so let me know if you've enjoyed it I'll link everything where I can below and yeah I'll see you in the next one bye